So let's look at our next strategy, the option debit spread strategy. And we use, once we enter a call option trade, we use trade management rules. And we use, one of those rules is to use options to protect our profits when we have a winning trade. So if we have a 30% or greater profit in a call option, then we'll sell to open a call option with a higher strike price uh, which creates an option debit spread and helps uh, protect our profit. So if we have a 30% profit in any call, then we'll uh, create a spread uh, by selling um, a higher strike uh, price uh, call option. So uh, if you purchase an option and you have a profit on that option, and then at a later date you sell an option to protect those profits, uh, it increases the profit potential of the existing option purchase and then also provides downside protection if the stock starts to decrease in price. So uh, when you have uh, a bullish debit spread on um, the call option that you purchased, of course, profits if the price of the underlying stock increases and the call option that you sold will profit as the price of the underlying stock decreases and your risk is limited with debit spreads to the cost of the spread. So you can't lose more than the, uh, what you paid for the spread. So let's look at an actual example uh, that we have on now. And our uh, brokerage report shows that uh, we bought the QQQ 105 strike call at 6.30. So bought the uh, QQQ 105 call at 630. Uh, we have a profit in that trade, so uh, at a later date, we sold to open the QQQ 122 strike call at 328. So again, bought the 105 call at 630. We had a 30% or higher profit, and we sold the 122 strike call at 328. So once we sold that 122 strike call 328, that created a debit spread and that actually increased the uh, profit potential for the 105 strike call purchase and at the same time provided downside protection in the event of the QQQ declines in price. So uh, the auctioneering team uh, has designed a series of calculators to calculate the profit potential. Uh, we have these calculators for six different uh, uh, option strategies, including the option debit spread strategy. So the calculator calculates the profit potential for the option debit spread trade based on the price uh, in the underlying stock at option expiration. So we'll look at this QQQ profit potential. Again, QQQ is trading at 130.22. We bought the 105 strike call at 6.30 sold the 122 strike call at 328. So let's look at the profit potential on this. This bottom row here displays the percent return potential and the second from the bottom just displays the uh, dollar profit. So let's say that uh, at option expiration, QQQ is unchanged at 130.22. If that occurs, then we'll have a $1,398 profit and a 462% return. Uh, so, uh, and if the, if the uh, QQQ is up at all at option expiration, we'll have uh, the same profit, $1,398, 462% return. So uh, once we sold that, 122 strike call at 328, that reduced the cost of the 105 purchase from 630 to 302. So in other words, we paid 630 for the 105 and we sold the 122 strike call for 328. So the cost of the spread was $302. So um, if, it's, if the if, uh, QQQ is flat, we'll have a $1,300 profit. If it goes down, 5% will still have a $1,300 profit. If it goes down 10%, we'll have a $918 profit. And if it goes down 15%, we'll have a $267 profit. So in this example, 
the QQQ could even go down 15% and we would still uh, profit. Here's one more example. This is the IWM um, small cap ETF. We bought the 120, 120 strike call at 564. We had a profit in the trade, so we sold the 135 strike call at 311. And uh, here's the profit potential on this trade. If IWM is flat at option expiration, we'll have um, $1,247 profit, 492% return. Uh, if it goes up at all, we'll, we'll have a $1,247 profit. If it goes down uh, 5%, we'll have a $1,066 profit and 421% uh, return. So there's two examples of uh, call option purchases we made. We had a profit in the um, uh, option purchase, so we sold um, an option to uh, increase the profit potential of the existing call purchase and also provide uh, downside protection. So in the case of the QQQ, uh, we purchased the uh, 105 call at 630. So uh, by selling the option, it reduced our total risk from $630 to $302. And as we saw, the, the spread can be profitable if the stock goes up or down. 